you know, I think all of us here in San Diego can agree that it's very expensive to live here in San Diego County. And that's not just a problem with us here. It's something that happens across the entire state. And so right now making its way through Sacramento, a new bill to make housing more affordable. The housing that is most affordable is located far from jobs, necessitating longer and longer commutes. And homes located in high opportunity, job and transit rich neighborhoods are so expensive that most often only the most wealthy among us uh, can afford them. And as a result, Calif the average Californian pays 49% of their income between housing and transportation. So it's called AB 2345, and it copies a new law that we actually already have here in the city of San Diego that gives incentives to builders who include low-cost housing, like here at the Alpha Loss Veterans Housing Project, where they were allowed to build four extra units than they otherwise would have been allowed to do. The law reduces parking requirements. It offers setback relief and modified design requirements. These changes in the city had an immediate impact with affordable housing projects increasing nine times what they were before. The other bill eliminates segregation in this housing. You can't have separate doors for low income residents. No saying that they can't use all of the facilities that everybody else could use. Things like a pool or a community room. What I don't want is people can't be in the same building and have access. How do you how does a single mom explain to her child that she is living, you know, in the same building as somebody from school, but she can't utilize the pool or can't come through the front door? That's sick. So I talked to Lorena Gonzalez about the density issue here because, as you know, traffic in San Diego is bad. It's only getting worse. And so I asked her, hey, if you start building more units in a certain area, over building for the area, aren't we going to have a problem with transportation? And she said people are just going to have to learn to get around without their cars, build these near transportation centers, near the trolley, near bus routes, public transportation. So we'll have to see how all of that works out in the long run, but definitely a push happening now in Sacramento to try to make housing more affordable, which I think we can all agree needs to be done. We'll